Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's County officials are seeking to update the county's Open Meetings Act to compel county boards to enforce more strict provisions in laws and to allow more topics to be discussed and closed. The county commissioners plan to address this proposal next Tuesday before passing it off to 2020 state delegation. The county's Open Meetings Act has not been substantially changed since its creation about 43 years ago. In the past 10 years, the St. Mary's County public school system has seen an increase of about 5,000 maintenance work requests. The director of maintenance for the school system, Steve Whitten, says, We have a lot of middle schools and high schools starting to creep into the age where they're requiring a lot more attention. Receiving $4.78 million for the fiscal year of 2020, the school system improvement plan is now more focused on the sustainment and maintenance of schools. Bars are not allowed to mix drinks with CBD, a non-psychoactive compound found in marijuana, according to the St. Mary's County Liquor Board Administrator. I have gotten multiple phone calls about CBD products, Tamara Hildebrand, the board's administrator, said at last Thursday's meeting. The alcohol board received a report from White Glove Drug and Alcohol Testing, a private drug testing company, which stated that CBD products are not regulated by the FDA for consumption. Only three days after had rallied from a 4-0 deficit to a Penn Northern 5-4, the La Plata High School boys soccer team proved unable to dig out of an early hole en route to suffering a 5-0 setback to visiting Leonardtown on Friday evening. Leonardtown coaches and players have been aware of the La Plata's epic rally to a Penn Northern on Tuesday, but the Raiders hardly seem phased by the Warriors after gaining the early advantage. The Lanky Chargers were able to earn a 34-7 road win at Chopticon on Friday night in a Southern Maryland Athletic Conference crossover game, despite turning the ball over four times. During the time, Chopticon senior quarterback Dominic Crampton managed to throw for one touchdown pass. Chargers head coach Jamari Jones said, I think we played hard, but still a little sloppy. We are a young team, so we are still trying to clean up some of those turnovers and errors, but we definitely did better than last week. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. Signing off. off.